Thank you. Uh, my name is Hubert Hoffman. I live at M5449 Kodiak Road on Alaska, Wisconsin. And I'm here today to address the committee regarding something I saw on the agenda that was referred to as a wheel tax. Um, there was some write-up in the paper about it, uh, specifically where Administrator O'Malley had mentioned St. Croix County and how they must find it valuable. But what Mr. O'Malley failed to inform the constituents through the paper, and probably you committee members as well, is that in 2009, uh, during a visioning session, St. Croix County determined that they wanted to eliminate that tax. They've been working on trying to get rid of it for three years and still haven't been able to do so. Um, in 2011, Dane County overwhelmingly rejected the concept of a wheel tax on a 30 to 7 vote. So I don't think that uh, at this point in time, anybody, the public or you elected officials, have anywhere near enough information to be contemplating something such as a wheel tax. I don't think we're, we were just talking about it. We haven't had any uh, resolutions or anything like that. So okay, I understand that, sir. I'm, I'm simply providing information. Okay. Um, you look at the city of Janesville. The city of Janesville enacted a wheel tax in 2011. But then because of the, uh, the way that things work with the uh, Department of Transportation, they actually didn't get any funding from that until almost April of 2012, so there was a three-month lapse in there. So when we sit here and we look at all of this, and we see that um, Marathon County used to have a wheel tax, they got rid of it. The, it's, it's, it's just, it makes no sense to have such a thing. Now I did a little research with the department, with, with the census department, and it turns out that of Dane County that rejected the wheel tax, Marathon County that repealed the wheel tax in La Crosse County. La Crosse County has the highest poverty rate of those three and the lowest median income of those three. Seems to me that a wheel tax is literally attacking the most needy people in our county, the ones who can afford it the least. That's all I have to say about it. Thank you for your